Hey guys, and welcome back to my St. Christopher School Lockdown playthrough. This is part two. Load. Kitchen. Okay, so. In part what we are Kelly here. Hey, oh dear. Hey, Kales. Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, and uh, Roger, who's in here. Hey, Rog. How you doing, buddy? Rog. Hey, Rog. He is trying to get into this computer here, and he wants us to find a password. And we need to get into Leslie's cubby hole here, but we don't know Leslie's surname. And we managed to pick up a straw hat, some lacrosse sticks, and a plant. Cheese plant, I think, if I remember correctly. And we got a bit stuck, so we didn't know what to do at all, so... Uh... Okay. So, we didn't know what to do in the last video, so, oh, hang on a minute. Magnets, I thought we looked at magnets. But we didn't look at this photograph, did we? What's this photograph? Oh, hello. Two old guys somewhere in the continent. You met one of them before, you are sure. Hard to forget that hairstyle. Oh, nice hairstyle. What's wrong with the hairstyle? Obviously, it's unforgettable. <laughs> okay, pick it up if we can. Wanting a closer look, you grab the photo. Okay, we just had a closer look though. What other closer look are we going to have? On the back, written in green ink, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Dumas. Enjoy the Italian sun while we enjoy the sorry English weather. It is sorry English weather today, I'm afraid. YouTubers, <coughs> people out there, it's bloody raining, which is typical at this time of year and all year. <laughs> I just wanted sun to come back again. Whatever. Okay, so let's see how we enjoy this. Okay, what are, what are we going to do then? Um, I still don't know the bloody surname though. Oh, she's gone now. Where are you going, Kales? Get back in here. No, don't exit. Check the cubbies. Okay, so she said before we can't just look through them all. So we need the bloody surname. So we've got this stuff here oh, hang on he's got a hat he's got a hat like mine he got a straw hat we got a straw hat a hand embroidered label proudly proclaims that this hat belongs to Leslie D Woo! Leslie D man that means her name begins with D Dixon Donalds Dumas Dumas that's the name of the guy in the picture there's only three D's anyway so can we just check them all Donald's is an indignant citizen. Her cubby hole is full of unfinished letters to the Bury Bridge Gazette and the County Council complaining about the proliferation of half-finished beer cans in public rubbish bins. <gasps> Do those lagalouts enjoy impunity in spite of the huge taxpayers' money investment in CCTV? Something else. Okay, Duma. Dumas. 
You are rummaged hopelessly through the ton of mess do mass keeps in the cupboard, and as you are close to committing suicide, you find a little bit of paper which looks most suggestive. You grab it, of course. Ooh, look! <coughs> At last! What is it? Okay, I found Leslie's cupboard. Took you that long just to find the right pigeonhole? Yeah, Rog. I wasn't just sat on my ass messing about on a computer all day like you! I was actually getting some work done during this protest. No, I mean, I found something which might be the password. Let me have a look. Is it alphanumeric? Alpha what? I don't know what that is. And I don't think you do need it. <gasps> What's going on now? Something's going on. What was that? Some bastard just locked us in. No way! And the lights? I don't know any more than you do, Kay. Well, you should know more, Rog, because I get the feeling you're more involved in this protest than I am. A yellowed scrap of paper bears what clearly seems a phone number. What could have possibly given you the idea that this could be a password? I don't know. If you had the foggiest idea about who this Richter could be, maybe you could give him a ring. Because, in case you missed it during all of the commotion, this is obviously a phone number, not a password. Okay, sarcastic bugger. It's a bloody phone number, not a password, and I don't see a bloody phone anywhere. Rog, what you got to say about it? <clears throat> really need to do something about this shit. Let me think for a while. Have you been thinking enough, mate? Sat there on your ass. Time you did something other than think. Any idea where the fuse box is? I know. Yeah. Probably outside in the hall. What are we going to do now? I think it's in there. There, yeah, it's locked. Bloody hell, what's that? A oh, wooden bench. Oh, we got to do something, Rog. Where's the key to the door? I left them in the lock. Well, that was smart, wasn't it? You're not very smart, are you, Rog? Maybe there's a spare set somewhere in here. Bit unlikely. I already looked around a bit before you got here. Actually, so you did something then before I got here to save your ass with my password phone number. Oh, well, worth trying. Who do you think is doing this? I'm not sure. Kevin, I thought at first. But he's not the type to drag it out and actually scare people. How can you stand there doing nothing? That's what I thought. Sorry, I don't have my Scrabble board or my colouring books. Oh, he's so funny. I wish you were a bit more proactive. Look, sooner or later, Drake is bound to come looking for us. Fine, well, we'll just wait here then until Drake comes, I guess. Was that Richter number on the paper really the password? Will you ever find out? I guess not. Not much chance of using this until you get the power back. Any attempts to develop your computing skills will have to wait until you leave this damn school. Hmm. <laughs> right, let's see. The door is firmly locked. Did you lock the door? Why the hell would I do that? Anyway, I don't even have the key. This is starting to feel like a low budget B movie. If someone is going to come through this door with an axe and go, Here's Kevin! <laughs> I'm trying to think. Just shit. Uh, umbrella. I'll take the umbrella. Oh, we did take the umbrella. A nice nylon umbrella with a curved handle. Okay, the key is in the door, he said. So we're we going to do the old key in the door trick 
look, whoever's talking to me, I will decide whether something is the wrong thing. Oh no, okay, this is good actually, because it means we're confined to this room, I like that. I like it when games do that, when because then you know that everything you need is in this room. There you go, you see? So we can't leave this area. So we've got these things. Rog, take this number and do something with it. Mm, draw. Yeah, exactly. That, that is a really good idea, Kales. We'll do it then! Ah, oh, just shut the bloody... Oh, there we go. Now we've opened it. Ah, oh, no! We can't do anything in this bloody darkness. Roger, do something, you useless bloody... person. <clears throat> Let's smash the door open with a brolly. I like the sound of that. No, no. We can't do anything. I reckon it's hidden. Oh, we can't even use a rug anymore. Draw. Can't do anything with that. Elephant planter. The planter is cold to the touch, but that's as much as you can tell right now because it's bloody dark, isn't it? Oh, we've got a key. Ring. I think that's to the pantry, though. No, I don't think I did grasp the lesson. What about... Oh, no. Now I'm stuck again now. Well, everything we need is in this room, obviously. You know there is something there. You just bumped your knee against its hard edge. But that is all you can say at this point. You can barely walk in here. Better get a light source. Okay, so we need a light source. Uh, door is locked. You saw a little door before the power went out, but you really need more light. Okay, well, how are we going to get any light? We have nothing to light. No, no light source. And Roger's just standing there with his hand in his pocket, staring at the door. You're driving me nuts, Roger, because you're not doing anything. Why don't you get something done, mate? It's leaving it up to us. Oh, no. Oh, I think I remember. We press... There, yeah, there. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, there's something there. If you press tab, it gives you the hotspots. Oh, that's just the exit hotspot, though. No, bugger. Okay, guys, took a little break there while I figured it out, and actually, I have a light on my key ring, apparently, and now I can do things, and... Okay. Vent. Oh, okay, we're looking for some keys now. Fridge, fridge, and knitting bag. Oh, where's my light? Oh, there it is. God, man, this is just no good at all. I'm still stuck. So sarcastic. <clears throat> Good job I'm sarcastic myself, otherwise I could take offence at this game being so sarcastic and mocking. Well Okay, we're done with the cubby holes, that's good because there's no hot spot there now. 
nothing more in the magnets. Okay. No, what are we looking for? Raj, speak, buddy. Oh, can we look in the draw now with the light? Draw contains what can be expected elastic bands, assorted containers of ketchup and barbecue sauce, half eaten pencil, the broken cover of a mobile phone, and a CD which you pick up out of habit. A bad habit. <clears throat> Yeah, I've got lots of things, like a Sterling CD. Standard issue CD, masking tape label, no case. Another fine example of copyright infringement gone undetected. Good taste, though. Best of Bowie. Oh, Bowie, what did he ever do? God. You know, Kales, I can't name one David Bowie song. Okay, and I'm not ashamed of it. Okay, I don't care what you think. Okay, if Roger's upset about that, then I, I care what Roger thinks. But I don't care what you think. You bloody copyright infringed. Well, it wasn't you who copyright infringed. Sorry, I, okay, whatever. The label clearly says that it belongs to... Oh, it's Roger. Is that you, Roger? Have you put your Bowie CD? Oh, you disappoint me, Roger. I cared what you thought, but I don't now. Copyright thief. Roger, explain your bloody CD. Oh, come on. Give him t to Roger. Even when you fail... Oh, come on, he just said it's Roger's CD, did it not? Is he Roger freaking Spencer or what? You used to do the same at school when you were bored. Chew your pencils to the bitter end. Maybe lead poisoning is the cause of your problems. <laughs> it could be one cause of my problems, but there could be many more. <laughs> Too late to tell now. I think a fuse box is in there. I'm sure of it. Oh, pencil. Can we use this on the door? Shove it in the door. Ah, come on! What are we going to do now? Roger don't care, he's just standing there bobbing his head back and forth. Early money, no, 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 early, no, 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 I don't care, I don't know what I'm doing. He's useless. What about this trunk? Can we get in this damn trunk, please? Oh, okay. Oh, why? That'll go now nicely. Take it. A bottle of Vena Weonia. I don't have any idea about wine names. <laughs> Chardonnay, that's about as far as I can go with it. Currently bone dry, okay, we can't take any wine then. Voodoo Barry, hey, Voodoo Barry. Hideous little voodoo doll, you can't begin to fathom what the appeal is of these things. I can, I can. Don't tell me what I can fathom or not fathom, game. I can easily fathom voodoo shit. You'll come back for it if manage to overcome your natural resistance to trading card games. Why do they make them so difficult? I don't know. What's a voodoo dog got to do with trading card games? Handheld grenade. Only when you feel its cold surface and deadly weight you realise that, unbeknownst to the media, the elite student body has turned to more extreme ways of getting the teacher's attention. How the hell would you get a grenade? <coughs> And why would the teacher just confiscate your grenade and put it in the trunk? I mean, if they found you had an actual grenade, I think you'd be going to jail for a long time. Oh, well, we could actually. We could blow the door up. <clears throat> 
Not because you care about it, but to have an informed opinion, you think about taking the magazine. But then you would have to explain to Schilling the whole thing. So you better leave it just here. Um, I really <coughs> wish we'd managed to play day one because I don't really have any idea what's going on. Schilling, I think, is a young boy, actually, if I remember from previous promotional materials. But I've no idea why he would be in this school. Oh, unless his school... Is this a school school or like a university or college? Or like a high school? I don't bloody know! Don't ask me! Told you before, don't come to me for information. I don't have information, okay? And no manner of voodoo dolls, voodoo baddie is going to make me spill the information. So Schilling, hmm, I think he's some young kid. So maybe this is like a school with all different ages. But I don't know. The fact that somebody bothered confiscating this embalmed fish is as puzzling as the fact that somebody brought it to school. Furry porn has never been your thing, and this is not the moment for it. But in the unlikely event that all the above were lies, who can look at porn in such crappy light? One less moral choice to be handled. Oh, that's good then. Game, mate. Life has taught you one bit of lesson. When a boyfriend says he needs space, it means space for his game consoles. Won't even had the cheek to break up with you when you had broad when he had broadband installed. Yep, I think we've all been there. Even if you were a hardcore gamer, fancy that. You would need to plug that box to play. Plug it in. Game uh, pocket, ooh, pocket knife, that sounds promising. Well, that is a fair point, mysterious voice. Times being what they are, you decide to arm yourself with a knife. You never know who you might run into. <laughs> who am I going to run into? Uh, a life-size version of Voodoo Barry. Uh, a furry mischief kitty born brigade. Okay, is there anything else in here? A mighty puffer. What the hell is that? The mighty puffer heli buddy is the latest in Mighty Morning's breakfast cereal toys. It has a 30 foot flying range and only takes two AA batteries. Luckily included. Ooh, that could be useful. Take it! Kales, take it! You snagged a toy helicopter, envisioning all the potential uses you could have for it. Yes, I could see potential use all over. I think we could put it in the vent, fly it through the vent, into the hall, pick up the key in what I assume would be some kind of grabby claw that the helicopter will have for, for no reason. And then fly it back through the vent and drop the key off. I think that is definitely going to be what happens. Buzzing bunny. <laughs> no, I don't think we need any of that. <laughs> the <clears throat> item appears to be a rubber-based leisure inhibitor. Okay, let's just take it. It could come in handy. I could think of many uses for it with my helicopter. I guess <laughs> ticked. Okay, so now we have that and we have this. Okay, I think you know, we can't take grenade. Can we take the grenade? No. Barry. Oh, Barry. Do you want some in pleasure inhibitor? We can make your initiative. If it was a bad idea. Don't look at him, poor guy. He needs something in his life. Okay, that is everything. Where's the X? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see what we've got. Pocket knife. 
One of those brilliant Swiss Army knives with lots of attachments so that you can file your nails, unscrew things and all that. Even a corkscrew, how handy. Yes, it would be if we had the wheel near Chardonnay thing. Full of wheel near Chardonnay. <laughs> hey, I'm not a wine connoisseur, okay? I'm a tea connoisseur. I like my tea. I don't drink the wine. That's actually not true. Sometimes I do. But not that often. <laughs> Mighty puffer. Well, damn it, this delightful little toy helicopter doesn't. And oh, I said that, but you just said. Luckily, the batteries were included, and now they're not included. Do you remember that film, Batteries Not Included? That's an old film. You clean the dirt out from underneath your nails and put Oh, come on, Kales. Oh, uh, buzzing bunny, what can we do with you? Overcoming a prudish reluctance on your part to examine the buzzing... I'm not a prudish. I don't have a prudish reluctance game at all. Stop accusing me of things. Oh, uh, you're you examining the buzzing bunny in great detail. The Oh, batteries, yes. The battery chamber is stuck. Oh, no. Okay, I'm, get, I'm getting an idea now. Look, take the knife, unscrew the battery chamber... Yes, and we have the batteries. Put the batteries into the helicopter. It lives, it lives. With batteries loaded in, the mighty puffer will take to the skies as nature intended. Yes, but what are we going to bloody do with it? I, well, I said, didn't, didn't I say put it in the vent and I stand by my so I'm going I'm gonna unscrew the vent cover ah, shut up do it do it do as I say ah, all right. so is that what I'm supposed to do then because she just said it could put it in there but what what why can't I use my knife now yeah, we've done that. Yours it. Yours my knife, Kelly. No, oh, why doesn't it work? He's got a screwdriver on it, hasn't it? Pencil. I don't know what to do with a pencil. Let's go see what Roger has to say about the situation. Roger, have you bloody got anything to say, you silly old sausage? No. Oh, this guy's doing nothing at all, look. He's as useful as a chocolate fire guard, a chocolate teapot. Um, buzzing bunny, Roger? Huh? 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 You want to try it? Huh? Huh? No. Okay. We took the batteries out anyway, so lucky for you. <laughs> Uh, oh no, I'm stuck again now. Can't get in the vet. Oh, what about if I... Can I use... Oh, come on! Stop it! Oh, door. I'll give you a wrong impression in a minute, game. Well, what now? What now? What now? I don't know what now. I've got all this lovely stuff and nothing that I can think to do. We've got the batteries in the helicopter. Could it really be putting it in the air vent? Because that, that was a joke. <laughs> Oh, shut up, game. If I want to randomly associate everything, anything and everything, I bloody will do. Hmm, what can we get the chair? Oh, stop cleaning your nails, Kelly. They're clean enough. Can we get the chain off the kettle? No. Okay. Hmm. Well, obviously, we, we apparently, we've got a f doors. 
What the hell is this? I don't remember these being all, these being here before. Ah! What's in here? What's that? A gas line? Two doctors inside, you need a better light source. I don't have a better light source. But what? I don't, how am I going to get a better light source? I don't have, I don't have anything. I don't know what to do. Put the stove on. No, but if it's like a gas burner, you could get some light off there, couldn't you? Ah, smart arse. Well, this door we can open, but we can't. There's nothing in there. I'm going to check the hot spots again. Hot spots. Oh, no, no. I can't do it. Oh, there we go. But well, they don't stay on. Oh. What's that? It says there's one there, but we can't do anything with it. We made some progress, sir. Didn't we? I mean, we got the batteries out of the rabbit buzzing bunner, put them in the my my tear my tear puffer. Yeah, it's just oh, because it's got batteries in now. It was mighty. Now it's my tear. Oh, I get it. I really have no idea. Wooden crate. What have you got? Oh, she moved it now. How come she didn't move it before then? You can now inspect the sad collection of jetsum and flotsam hidden inside the crater crate. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> As you rummage through takeaway flyers, odd plastic spoons, empty supermarket bags and a couple of unread metro magazines, you find a pack of old-fashioned, unscented candles. Good old candles, yes! Well done, Kales. Have you got them? No, I didn't get them. Get the candles. No, not the coffee maker, the crate. You've snatched some mighty candles which seem to have been around since World War II. Well, I'm sure they'll still work. I don't think they'll go out of date, dollar. I don't think they go off, bloody candles. Your nan used to keep some just like these under her bed for emergencies. Same exact candles, same little wicks. Maybe they were the same candles. Did you think about that, Kales? You, wow, no. Now what we're going to do, we don't have anywhere to light the candles. Oh, no. And where are we going to put them? Oh, what's that? H and a health and safety device. The light is not strong enough for a detailed inspection, but it looks like a smoke detector of sorts. There is a general consensus that these kinds of detectors need some stimulus to activate them. Mm. Like many things you have encountered before, the device is firmly attached to all. Well, I think we should unscrew it. You can't properly see. Ah, uh, how are we going to light the candles now? Rug. I don't think that's going to work. Can we just light the stove? If the stove is gas, we can light the stove. No, I want to light my candles, Kelly. No. No. 
No, we can't light the bloody candles. And where are we going to put them anyway if we do light them? You get me? What we're going to do? Roger, have you had any brain waves? Uh, I don't like his attitude, actually. I don't. I don't care for it at all. Uh, candles. Uh, <laughs> you wish. I do wish. What about if we... I don't know. Hmm, but I can't think of any logic right now, game. Their logicness is diminished. <gasps> What's that? Oh, I thought it was like a candle holder. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? That would really be useful. Did we look in we looked in here, can't There wasn't anything in there, was there? She said she'd come back for something later. Voodoo buddy, sorry, you're gonna have to stay there. Yeah, we've taken the wine bottle now. No, I don't know, we didn't try and take it before. Oh, we can put a candle in a wine bowl. Okay, back. Thank yes, back. Thank you. Do it. Put that in there. No. Okay, take out the cork first. Yes. It is a clever idea. What's the point of having a corkscrew? You said I had a corkscrew on my knife. Did you not? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, so I know nothing about wine either. You are amazed by the fruitiness and the bowquet. <laughs> Don't worry, I know it's book. <laughs> and the acidity of the soil. The soil? What? What? Have those le have those few drops left in the bottle? The cork, however, refuses to go back. Oh, good. That's what I wanted to take the cork out. So I can put my candle in there. Ah! <laughs> what, have you never done that? You never put a candle in a wine bottle? I have. Hmm, well, I don't know where to put the candles or even how I'm going to light them. What about in a knitting bag? I feel like we could use some Kale's move please. I feel like we could use a knitting needle. Oh, we've taken the whole bag now. Oh, we've got a cork. Chilean cork, eh? Oh, so it must be Chilean wine. This robust cork seems to be in perfect condition. I think we're going to find a use for this cork by shoving it up Roger's Arthur! Then he'll have something to bloody say, won't he? <sighs> Sorry, I don't know where that outburst came from. He's just making me so mad standing there by the door doing absolutely bugger all for anybody. You remember you once made a little horse out of cork pieces and matchsticks? Ah. What can we do with it? Let's check the knit bag. 
You rummage through the bag and find the latest issue of Woman's Weekly. Yay! I prefer Bella No or Woman's Own. Ha <laughs> The Crochet Spectacular. What luck! You also grab a metal knitting needle, which might be quite useful. Yes, that will be useful, Kaylee. Did I not say that? I said that. You, now that you have the bag, you look forward to finding the time to knit that alpaca hair poncho you always wanted. <laughs> oh, what's this? Crochet special. We're getting a lot of items. Bold letters on the first page proclaim this to be the property of Leslie M. Leslie M? You also find an unfinished letter addressed to a certain Horace. Another Leslie? Okay. A good quality knitting needle, stainless steel, 5mm thick, 22cm long, and made in China. Isn't everything? Obviously, apparently, yes. Leslie M. Oh, God, we can't check the cubbies anymore. Look. Oh, can, can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? No, that's just an exit. Oh, hmm. <laughs> okay. Can't do anything. We don't have anything to do. Take that off there. Well, I can't. I want to look. I want to do my helicopter in the air vent idea. I think that is a winning idea. Oh, I know. Ah, come on! You put the magazine under there, under the door, and then you put the knitting needle through the through the lock and the key falls down and you pull it through you see every adventure game has that puzzle and if it doesn't it's not a real adventure game and I won't recommend it and I won't buy it in fact I will buy it and I will use a CD as a coaster at my disgust for not including that great puzzle what do you think about that Kales what do you think about it Rog oh he's a Hulk now normal Hulk Normal Hulk! Norm oh, it's gone off. Ah, I'm the Hulk again. Okay, guys, well, I think we'll have to leave that one there now. We've made some good progress. We've got a lot of items. And I think when we come back to it, we will be able to actually get somewhere. Because I am actually very smart. And any, you know pretense at being stuck is just that the pretense i know exactly what i'm doing okay in this game and all games so until next time bye